Okay, so we are gonna be doing the blush bay tag, okay? I tag everyone and anyone who wants to do this. I saw Lauren May Beauty do this tag and I wanna do it. She tagged everybody anyway. So just do it if you wanna do it. Okay, so cream or powder blush, that's easy powder all the way cream blush i just find it's a little bit too you got to finesse it like you got to put it on with the finger and then you got to blend it out and it's like i ain't got time for all of that i guess it's good to use the cream blush underneath a powder blush like if you want it to stay on for longer but when this is i need to get up and go situation just give me the powder the weirdest color blush in your collection this is only because it doesn't suit my skin tone and it's this color here. Um, it's called 05 Redwood and it is the Miss Cheek Blush by Clean Color. So it just, it's just too dark for me. So it would suit somebody who has a deeper complexion than mine, it will look bomb. But for me, it just would look not as good. Do I prefer high-end or drugstore blushes? I feel like because I'm not a blush freak, like there's some people who just absolutely love blushes, I'm the kind of person who prefers eyeshadow. And I'm happy to just stick with drugstore. It's nice to have things which are high-end, but it's not necessary. I've tried some high-end and it's kind of like, um, it's blush. It's not a big deal to me, so I'm happy to stick with drugstore. My most expensive blush that would be my two faced soulmates like this one is like a bronzer and it has a blush in the center like just to show you it has like a little blush in the center so it's a bronze and a blush this i've got in a subscription box so i didn't pay full price for it on its own it came with a bunch of different stuff but it is an expensive blush regardless so this will be my most expensive expensive blush as it is a high end would i have purchased it on my own probably not but i was oogling it or ogling it from afar when this first came out mm -hmm. my most inexpensive blush that would again be the miss cheek blushes these ones were like a dollar from shop miss a i bought i think about six of them and like these are some of the best blushes that i've ever tried and these are just a dollar absolutely love them i swear by them they are beautiful <sighs> Can't deny it, can't deny it. Ooh, my oldest blush in my collection. Hold on, I can see it. That will be my L'Oreal, was this L'Oreal? No, sorry, my Bourjois blusher in Golden Rose. It came with like a little brush as well. This is it, this is what it looks like. You can tell that it's old. Look how battered the packaging is. So bad, it's gorgeous though, but it's one of those sparkly, shimmery, blushes that I don't tend to draw for anymore. I tend to prefer to have a matte blush over a shimmer blush because I prefer to have a blush and then a highlight. So I can't, I would kind of feel like my blush being shimmery isn't really gonna complement my highlight. So I don't really use this anymore unless I would do a look which does not have highlight on my cheek, which like never happens. My newest blush, would be my Saharan volume two. I think I got the volume one and volume two at the same time, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a whole palette. This is like some of the most pigmented blushes I have ever seen in my entire life. And they have, this one is for lighter skin tones and the volume one is for deeper skin tones. But yeah, this is the newest to the collection. Although it is like, an old product but whatever what is your party blush i don't really know what that means i'm going to take it as like what's your favorite blush and one of my favorite blushes are the ones that i've just shown you which is the a no sorry the coral miss cheek there is a pink one by bh in one of their palettes that i really really like i can't put my hands on that right now so it's between that and the one in that bh palette the one in the bh palette is like the most beautiful pink like the most beautiful rosy pink ever it's just like it just gives my my cheek just a flush of pink it's just so gorgeous it's just the most beautiful pink that i've ever seen it's between this coral and that pink oh 
brands that you have four or more of the same blush so again so it's between like three so Juvia's because I've got this one which has six shades in it I've got the Saharan one which has six shades in it so that's 12 and then I've got these and I've got about six of those if I remember correctly one two three four five six yeah I've got six of these and then Revolution, oops, and then Revolution, I have their blush palette, which has, which has all of these shades in it. So I'm gonna kinda cheat, and I'm gonna say those three brands. So Juvia's, Revolution, and Miss Cheek. I've got a bunch of their blushes. Any blush buying regrets? I can't say that I have any regrets as such. I mean, as I said to you before, there was a blush that I got which is just a little bit too deep for me, but it's not a regret because I learned that I can't pull off those kind of shades. So it just is what it is. I don't feel like I've had any like blush disasters or anything to that effect because I quickly learned what suits me and what doesn't suit me. A blush that you purchased because of another YouTuber. I don't think I purchased any blushes because of YouTubers because blushes is just not my thing. So there isn't anything that anybody, that I saw anybody with that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. No. Is there a blush from a brand that you haven't tried that's on your wish list? Yes. Melt Makeup have some blushes which are just beautiful. About £16 each. I don't know if I can part with 16 pounds for a pan of blush when I've got a ton of blush and as I said blush is not my biggest thing so I might get it if they have a sale but if not I'm gonna have to leave it but their blushes do look really really nice they look gorgeous and I think because of the because of their company name melt I just always imagine their products just melting into the skin it's a psychological thing I think <laughs> and lastly your favorite blush brushes so my favorite blush brushes are of course my peach and pearl brush like this is from my own brand i use this daily i've just washed it so it's nice fresh and clean ready for me to use again but if i don't have one of these on rotation i could easily swap it out for a real techniques uh, duo fiber contour brush which is around the same size but a little bit smaller than my brush like my one's just a little bit more fluffy this one because it's duo fiber i just kind of find that uh it doesn't go on as flush like this one does because like the the duo fiber is kind of like sparing at the top and if that's not in rotation then i use my luxie 504 large angled brush like this is perfect like it's a perfect angle to just sweep my blush on because it's already got this slant so it just naturally goes with my cheek is shaped it just just sweeps on so beautifully but my main one is definitely my peach and pearl blush brush that's always gonna be my fave and as it should be because it's my brand okay anyway so are you gonna be doing this tag i reckon that you should be doing this tag and i really want to see and hear your answers so if you do do this tag please let me know and leave the link down below to your one i'll leave all the questions down below also so that you can so you can see what all of the questions are and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye